going to start the afternoon off with uh, invocation by uh, Mr. Turner, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance by Mr. Turner. Bow heads, please. Oh, gracious Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for allowing us to wake up this morning, dear Lord, and see a beautiful day that you have made, dear Lord, and we, we just thank you for that. You know, Heavenly Father, as we gather around this room, dear Lord, we ask you to guide us and lead us so the decisions that we make will be the best for our students, teachers, administrators, and parents, dear Lord. You no, know, Heavenly Father, be with us and allow us to have unity, dear Lord, and although we may disagree, but at the end, we all agree. You know, oh, Heavenly Father, as we come to the end of the school year, we ask that you continue to bless our children, dear Lord, and thank you for allowing them that no hurt or danger has come upon them at the close of this school year, and allow them to have a safe summer. All these things we ask and pray in our Jesus, Son, Jesus' name. Amen. 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 To the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Mr. Turner. Do we have any no special participation, recognition, or public participation this afternoon? None tonight, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Um, first thing we want to do, uh, we have an omission in our agenda, and I would like to amend it to include the uh, CLC request. So I'm asking for a motion to amend the agenda to include that on the agenda. So moved. Second. We have a motion and properly second. All in favor of amending the agenda? Aye. 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 Ayes carry it. Amending, <laughs> agenda, uh, amended. So uh, the super, I need a approval, motion and second for the minutes. So moved. Second. Motion has been moved and properly second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Ayes have it. The superintendent's report. Uh, Dr. Cobb. Dr. There, Cobb. There's nothing to add to the operations report, Mr. Chairman. Okay, curriculum and instruction. Ms. Fury. Uh, there's nothing to add to the curriculum and instruction report or the enrollment report, with the exception of um, adding an item requested for action that was not on the agenda last time by way of purchasing of manufacturing equipment for a new college and career academy. And that is item M? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mr. Chairman, if you would, a um, point of uh, personal privilege, and that would be to allow the CLC folks to come forward with uh, their presentation this time. And my apologies for making sure you didn't hit the agenda again. We've just been so busy that I missed it. Well, thank you, Dr. Matthews, and uh, we totally understand it's a busy time of year. Of course, last week we came with a presentation um, hoping uh, that this week the board could take some action on this in terms of adopting this program. The CLC, as was explained last week, release time education, off-campus, privately funded parental consent opportunity to add to the opportunities that we have in Newton County for our students that would be instruction uh, from a biblical worldview perspective that would train our students in morals, that would give them a grounding and a foundation for their lives, it would train them in leadership, respect, uh, understanding of the world, understanding of, of a, really a pathway for them. <coughs> this has been, as we mentioned last week, approved in um, many other uh, counties throughout our state, and it's been very successful in all of these counties uh, so far as has been reported, the Walton County uh, CLC program is the one that, of which we're most familiar. It's been going on for over 10 years. As y'all remember, Terry Butcher was here, and uh, it's just been amazing to see how that program has benefited Walton County and the students up there. And so we would like to call the board uh, to action tonight um, to, to bring this uh, in terms of, uh, you know, moving forward or, 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 or pausing <coughs> on this. I do want to say, uh, as we move forward, um, the, some of the concerns that were mentioned last week, uh, we have taken in and thought about some of Ms. Fury's concerns in terms of putting this in the curriculum. 
uh, some of uh, Chairman or uh, Council Member Henderson Baker's concerns about working together with other uh, pastors in the area, and it's our desire to to do all of these uh, to, to do to, to to listen to these concerns, to take action on these concerns, and um, you know if if that means that a, a more proper timeline for this program is the 2013-2014 school year for a launch date. Um, we would be amendable to that. Our, our hope here is that tonight the board would see this as a valuable asset, something that this uh, county needs and something that we need to move forward on for the sake of our students, for the sake of our families in this community. as just a strong asset for them. And our hope, uh, Paige and myself and all the other members that are working with this program, our hope is to, to have a, an amazing relationship not only with the superintendent and with his staff, but also with the entire school board. And uh, so we appreciate your concerns. And if there's any feedback or comments or questions, uh, we would love to address those at this time. Are there any questions or comments that you're going to direct? I have one. I just want to say about the program, and, and I guess I just want to kind of help you to understand what I was saying because I don't want you to think that I was against the program. I absolutely, and I think <clears throat> I said that I love the program. I visited in Walton County and I was actually really moved, like moved to tears when I went to their ending banquet and I saw what it had done and the students held up what they struggled with at the beginning of the year and how <coughs> the program had helped them get through it and, and they focused on on the back side of what helped them, whether it was scriptures or prayer and stuff. And I was really moved by that. I think it's something that our community needs. And, it's and, definitely something our community needs. And I did not needs. mean to communicate that I thought you were against it. I just was saying that there are a lot of, we want to do this well. Yeah. And that's why I heard you saying, when we do it, let's do it well yeah. and let's do it with excellence. And I, I wanted to communicate that is our hope also. We want to do this well. We want to make sure when it gets off the ground, um, <clears throat> it comes off without a hitch. Yeah, I just wanted to make myself clear to you. You know, it's something that I would like to see. Mm -hmm. But I just, if it's going to be community-wide, I just want you guys and, to have And that that's what discussion. we also want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But now the, the purpose for the location was due to the proximity of what building? There was a building you mentioned on one for on the bypass, <coughs> this is the Church of Christ building. Yes, Can't well, it, it's not 100%, so mm -hmm. we're still working with mm -hmm. um, the elders there and mm -hmm. stuff, and they have a lot of questions too about insurance mm -hmm. and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, but that is the location that we were looking at because we felt like it was the closest building that we had access to that we could po possibly get for free. Mm -hmm. um, so, but we're up for other options. I mean, we're looking at other things, but that was one of the main options. Okay. Other, any other? I would just like to say that uh, I'm not opposed <coughs> to the program. Uh, uh, I'm a Christian. I'm not ashamed to say I'm a Christian. Uh, but the implementation of this program, in my opinion, right now, we don't have enough input from the community. And I just, I just think it would be, uh, I would like to see us a little bit more time before we uh, rule on this. That's just my opinion about it. Okay, Ms. You have any comments? Uh, no, I'm sorry. Well, I I am uh, opposed to the this because I'm I just firmly believe that the church and state doctrine should prevail here, among other things. And I, I don't see it. <clears throat> this program has uh, demonstrated uh, enough for me to vote in favor of it. Uh, just starting on the north side of the county, we got to have a full exposure of the program to all of the community, not just one segment before I could consider a favorable application for the program. In one of the comments, I'm going to ask for a motion. Uh, I, I have a comment. Um, I think that it would make sense. You know, when we started um, <clears throat> Newton College and Career Academy, you know, you start small with CTAE programs, then you had it in the basement of Alcove, then you move to the new building. It's kind of a, a, a maturation process. What Pastor Dees um, stated last Tuesday night, if I recollect correctly, is appealing to us, could we explore, before we say no entirely, could we explore the idea of starting small? Um, 
how small, I'm sure that would be something orchestrated with Samantha Fury <coughs> if that were to be something that happened. I don't know that you can start in mass countywide mm -hmm. a project any more than we could start a career academy that by virtue of its charter builds from 255 to 750. So I would be supportive of us exploring the idea of it starting small wherever that location makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, it seems that Dr. Matthews had spoken with um, is it Gary Hobbs over in Walton, mm -hmm. is that, and that was that was positive, was it not? It was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And let me reiterate, you know, our hope tonight is that the board would decide to move forward with the program in terms of where, when, and the scale of how we begin this program. Um, our hope, the CLC board's hope, would be to work with the board, with the superintendent, with Ms. Fury on collectively figuring out what would be the best thing the best placement for this county, the best location. There may be some, there may be some sites that, that you, the school board, or the superintendent's office could help us with that we um, have not considered. Um, and so that would be, we, we were totally, uh, you know, amenable to that. The uh, Church of Christ and Eastside connection was just something that we saw as a potential partnership. Uh, it's not a, that's not a hill that we want to die on. That we want this program to be for the county. Uh, and for the entire and for all schools, we don't have a particular school in mind. We just want it to be successful when when it is move, when when we do move forward with it. And I th I think that's the issue that I have is we don't have any concrete plan. Is we want to try to do this or we're going to try to do this, and uh, so a lot of the community have not they're not familiar with it. I talked to some people and that they, they haven't heard of it. I'm not saying that I'm not supportive. I'm just saying that I think for myself, I can only speak for myself, that we need to table it until we get a little bit more concrete uh, information as to how we're going to start it. And, and I agree with uh, Mr. Meadows, you know, we can probably can start on a smaller mm -hmm. scale. Mm -hmm. But I just think to go full blown and we've approved right now, I'm just, <clears throat> I just have an issue with that. Okay. And I understand that issue. I think the main thing for us is to move forward. We wanted to make sure it was approved before we started asking people for, you know, can we stay in your location? Can we have your bus? Can we do these things? I have no doubt that as soon as you guys approve for it, that we are going to have a flood of people that are going to do whatever they can to make it happen. I've already, I have not really told very many people about it. But just through word of mouth, it is already getting spread, and people are loving this idea and loving this concept, and they're saying, let's get this in as soon as possible, and we will do whatever to make it happen, mm -hmm. especially pastors in the community. I mean, there's, there's a few pastors here tonight that we haven't even <laughs> mentioned it to them, but they're starting to hear about it, and they're going, we have got to have this in our community. So I am not concerned about the location, the the bus getting provided, the money coming in, even the teacher situation. I've already got potentials that I know would be incredible. And so, um, but we don't want to put all of our eggs in one baskets and say, this is what we're going to do and then not get approved. But as soon as it gets approved, we're going to start making it happen right away. And, and so that's And, and what I'm trying to communicate is, is if the idea, the concept of this could be approved. Mm -hmm. And then moving forward with the specifics, where, mm -hmm. when, instead of putting together this mass plan, figuring out everything, the hours, the time, the labor into putting together an articulate plan, the, the, idea, of, the idea of having the CLC, moving forward on that, and then what the specifics are, we want to work in concert with the school board superintendent's office to make that the best mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> that it possibly can be. Right, and okay. to my understanding, too, according to uh, uh, Ms. Fury on the last uh, meeting Tuesday mm -hmm. night, she mentioned that there would probably be some concerns about trying to work it into to the curriculum. Mm -hmm. So that's another issue that we haven't addressed. And yeah. you know, and we we even talked about that afterwards. And you know, we know that Samantha has a lot on her plate, and we know that she is working so hard. And so we want to respect, you know, the fact that you know that's her opinion, and we want to un we understand that there's a lot that's going on right now. So if that means that. We trust in your leadership, y'all's leadership and Samantha's leadership. We are willing to bump it back to 2013, August of 2013. But we would love for it to get voted in now so we can say, hey, you guys, this is, this is happening. We're going to start small. 
We're going to start with one class with about 25 people. And we're going to make this happen. We're going to do it excellent. And, and then we can continue to move forward from there. Now, I mean, ideally, we would love to do it this year because there's, that's 25 students that, were, that are going to miss out on it next year that I know would love it and it would be huge for them. It would be life-changing for them. So we're going to miss that opportunity, but, but we want to do it well. But we want to trust your leadership and also Samantha's leadership, and we want to be on board. With, we want, obviously, you guys to be on board with CLC and never want to work against you guys. And so if that means <clears throat> trusting y'all's leadership and making it happen next year, then we're up for that. But me is kind of directing this whole thing. Um, I mean, obviously, I'm not getting paid or anything for it, and it's, I'm putting in a lot of time and effort in it because I believe in this. I believe that it will be huge for our community. I grew up in this community, and I have a heart and passion for this community. But I need to have it approved so I can really start getting people on board and saying, this is going to happen, and I need you guys to get on board with me. We well, wouldn't be, would be asking too much to put it off into our June meeting to allow us further dialogue. I don't think that would be asking too much. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if you want to do it to June, then that's okay. fine. Right. Well, well uh, excuse me. Uh, that is a suggestion that's not a vote of the board. Right, yeah. Uh, right, yeah. You know, I just yeah. asked the question. Yeah. Absolutely. He's asking it to me. Right. And to me, <laughs> yeah, exactly. it would not be too yeah. much. Yeah, we, we, we definitely would be okay with that. But, but did you not say last week um, that fundraising is contingent upon board approval? Is that what you, I remember? The, so the, you need some sense of approval at some point, even if it's a year projection for fiscal 14, in order to have some legitimacy. To and more than just fundraising, yes. asking for location, talking it up among pastors. Right. Right. I mean, we're just talking about we put together a full, robust plan for this that we want to do and we want to do it well. Right. We don't want it to just be a dream. We want it to be able to say, hey, next year, the board's approved this. This is going to happen. You can start giving money to it. And we want to find the best location and the best, uh, you know, possible. And and who knows? Maybe there's so much community excitement we can start off 2013-14 with three locations and a middle school and a high school. But you know, our hope is to at least have one going. Mm -hmm. So well, I have a. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I have a question. So with approving, because I've I heard two different things. At one point, I heard you say approve the concept of it, so you can get the specifics and the logistics ironed out and the planning in place but then on the other hand i heard approve the actual plan and start off with 25 students so i like the Clearly. concept idea mm -hmm. so that you can get it rolling and get the word out there and get it in place and the concept would simply be saying that we we like this we want to commit to this but it's contingent upon how the specifics the plans and, and everything else. And I like that idea. And that that's is what we like good. also. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. That so that, that's right. what we need. That's yeah. what that's what we need to move forward. Yeah. How, how, I'm in agreement. I think just what Shaquila said. I, I, I like the concept of it. I worry about getting it started come August. Sure. I think. I agree. I, I don't think we have enough time. I know how busy I am. I know how busy you are with the new baby and everything else. And I'm scared we won't do it well. And our position on that, you know, last week we came in encouraged. We, we just stepped back, thought about yeah. it. So I think that's Where's your concerns? Work on it. But I would like to move it to June. I, I don't feel comfortable voting on it tonight just because I haven't had time to discuss it with other people. I mean, I have to some extent, but not. Let, so let me make one other the comment, then we're going to call for. Well, well, I mean, I can go for the concept tonight. That's fine. I have a problem with it. See, we just said, Miss Miss Fury, you know, uh, got a lot of work to do. But let's understand that Miss Fury is paid by tax dollars, and her effort and resources are going into this program. That's a violation. Now she's going to be you, this this board going to suspend resources with a church. That's what we got to do. And, and that's a violation of church and state doctrine. How are we going to do that? But I think the, where I disagree with it there, because I do understand, I'm a firm believer between you know, separation of church and state, as I'm sure we all are. But what I see it as is we are actually only voting on, and the, it's actually to release these kids from school. And I know they're, part of it is you know, they have to get this, they're going to get credit for their curriculum. I understand that part of it. But it's SACS accredited, mm -hmm. and that part has already gone through. You know, SACS approved program. It's already gone through that. It's fought the battles between separation of church and, church mm -hmm. and state. 
So I guess that's where I might disagree with you in the concept of this. Okay, that's fine to disagree. But we, it's fundamental that we have not discussed what will happen, one, with the kid that you got a behavior issue with. What are you going to do? Put him on the bus and bring him back to the school? I mean, we got a lot of details to talk about here. What are we going to do when the bus pull up to the school and now it's time, if, if it's approved, to release the students? Now we're going to use resources to get these kids out. And, and, and the principals now are saying, I, I can't monitor the hall. Now they got another function to do, using tax supported resources here. That is a violation. It's clear. Then, I'm afraid that we'll have the use, uh, I won't say that, but uh, it, it's wrong, and I'm totally opposed against it. Make no mistake about it. Well, I, I respect your position, Chairman Johnson. Um, the, the, the statistics would show, though, in other counties that have approved this and have had this program for a long time, that the net gain for the school board and the, across the board by believers and non-believers alike has been so positive has been such a great move. This has been such a great option for these counties uh, that, that those concerns that were there in the other counties, especially specifically Walton County, I can speak of with some clarity, mm -hmm. these same kinds of concerns, people that had different view sets that came out against this program are now, have now come around because it's been such a net positive for the community. And, um, you know, I just, I want to encourage you to think about, to think about that. I understand your concern, I, I respect I, it. No, no disrespect, please. But I have, and I wouldn't be saying what I'm saying. I've thought about it very seriously, very deeply, knowing that there's a potential. But I can't violate in good conscience what, what the laws are. I can't do that. I won't do it. So with that said. I'd like to make a motion. So go ahead. I'm going to give this a try. It's going to be a very long motion because I have a couple of notes here. I would like to make a motion to approve the concept of the CLC in the Newton County school system and implement the program in the 2013-14 school year contingent upon all of the specifics, <laughs> logistics, <laughs> planning That's good. has been ironed out and I think that will take care of all of it so in other words we still have a fallback I'm still waiting on somebody right. to we still have well, a fallback okay I have to continue and my motion and I add well, in there support of the community and support of the community however no that's we're getting too far but now that will allow you to be able to that will allow them yeah. to go ahead and, and and she did say just to clarify she did say contingent, contingent upon. upon so that is your fallback clause <laughs> right well <laughs> she has a motion on the uh, floor i'll second it we have a motion it's probably second uh, any discussion before we vote I, I, I'm at a baffle here that we can implement a contingency plan, agree on it, and got nothing to base it on other than a promise. I, I just don't see the Board of Education doing this without factual makeup. That's not a, everything we approve is a contract and sign off on it. We got information. We got nothing. We don't even have public support. We have a few individuals, and that's, that's, a, that's wrong. Well, my motion yeah. is about the concept so that they can go out mm -hmm. and come back with a, pl a plan. I stated a plan, specific logistics mm -hmm. and planning. So at the end of th their year long, going out promoting the concept, they would come back with that plan, and then that would make the motion, that would, that would bring about another motion. And that's why I say contingent upon the specifics, logistics, and planning. But in order to do those steps, they need to know that we are approving the concept at least. Okay, well, I, I, I'm not for the concept. So and we have a motion now we on call the, for a well, vote. Well, let me, let me do that. I'll do that from the chair. Can we get a, uh, we've heard the discussion, and can we get a, a vote? on the concept, what a motion is. Repeat your motion, please. 
I would like to make a motion that we approve the concept of the CLC for the Newton County School System, the year 2013 and 14, contingent upon the, speci the specific logistics and planning have been all ironed out, and they will present it to us again. And support of the community. And support of the community. <laughs> Ms. Allen, are you on board with that? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I need a vote on the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Oppose the same sign? Aye. Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, enrollment. Any? Ms. Berry. There, there's nothing to add to the enrollment. Oh, no old business, new business. We need a motion to approve the superintendent's report. I had that written. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. We need a motion to Okay, thank you. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, new business. Item A, that will be Dr. Carpenter. Item B, C, D, and we'll stop there. Yes, sir, Mr. Chairman. I have items A through H. Um, the only one I have anything to add to is item A. And, and item A, the super, you, you saw our presentation last week of the tentative budget, and the superintendent recommends the approval of the FY13 tentative budget to be advertised in our legal organ, the Covington News, as required by law on Wednesday, May 23rd. And you'll see there on your screen the actual budget that goes into the, the Covington News, and we'll run it on May 23rd as requ required by law. You see the fund categories, general fund, other state grants, special revenue funds, capital projects, debt service, and school food service fund. And that's the actual advertisement for the Covington News. And that's our recommendation. Okay. <clears throat> I need a motion to approve item A. So moved. You have a second? We have a motion to proper second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Item B, Dr. Young. Nothing to add. C. Nothing to add. D. Nothing. Okay, let's. Through H. Through nothing, through item H. Any questions on any other item from any of the board members? <clears throat> okay, I need a motion to approve item D through H. B through H, Mr. Chairman. B through H. B through H. B through H, sorry. Yes, Second. We have a motion and properly second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, all the categories accepted. Item I, Dr. Schott. Okay. Okay. J, item J, Dr. Schott. To Dr. Matthews, Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen of the board, item A deals with the renewal of our antivirus software. Item K deals with the renewal of our Microsoft licenses. And item L deals with the contract with audio enhancement for audio equipment at schools. I have nothing to add to those three items. Okay, I need a, a motion to approve item A through L. So moved. No. 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 J. Oh, J through L. J through L. I, I, I through L. I, I through L. I through L. I through L. I through L. We have a motion, properly second. Second. We have a motion, properly second. All in favor of I through L? Aye. Ayes carries. Item M. Mr. Weber. Thank you very much. Uh, I do want to first apologize that this one just come in at the last minute, but uh, we worked on it for about three months and uh, there's an issue with getting it approved so that the vendor can begin making the equipment to be delivered on the June 30th timeframe. 
But the superintendent recommends the purchase of manufacturing equipment for the Newton College and Career Academy from Amatrol Company of Jefferson, Indiana. The estimated total cost for the equipment is $59,170.55, which will be deducted from the state equipment grant. This has gone through a, an RFQ, and we've had industry professionals from uh, SKC and CR Bar to work with us to really nail down the exact equipment that we would need for the manufacturing lab. And this is what they're recommending. Ooh. Thank you. Any questions, board members? Okay, he's rest, <laughs> requesting approval tonight on this particular item. Can I have a motion for approval, please? So moved. Second. Motion <clears throat> and a proper second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Item N, Dr. Matthews. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman and board members. Uh, I recommend to you tonight all of the items I presented during executive session. Okay, thank you. I uh, can I have a motion to approve the items as discussed in executive session. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, let it be known by the word aye. 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 Oppose the same sign. Motion approved. Mr. Chairman and board members, uh, with your actions uh, tonight, I have the following announcements regarding some of the regarding the appointments of some uh, some principals in NCSS. First of all, I'd like to begin with Herd Mixon Elementary. Uh, the board has approved Ms. Marquita Wilkins, current assistant principal at Herd Mixon, to become the new principal of Herd Mixon, effective 2012-13 school year. Ms. Wilkins enjoys 18 years of experience in education, inclusive of the last four as assistant principal of Herd Mixon. Importantly, she has served previously for a period of three years as an instructional coach at Herd Mixon, attesting to her instructional leadership abilities. Ms. Wilkins has 10 years classroom teaching experience, and for a one-year period, she was a para-pro uh, at Sumter Middle in America's Georgia. Marquita holds a BS in early childhood education from Georgia Southwestern University and an MS degree uh, and educational specialist degree in elementary education from Troy State University. Additionally, uh, she enjoys a reading endorsement from Georgia Southwestern University and a certificate in Ed Leadership from the University of West Georgia. Our new principal at Herd Mixon, Marquita Wilkins. Next, we have the new principal for Liberty Middle School. Uh, that will be Kisa Taylor. Ms. Taylor has 12 years of experience in education, inclusive of the last six as assistant principal split between Flint Hill Palmer Stone and Veterans Memorial Middle School. She also served for two years as assistant principal of Jasper County Middle School and served as a middle school teacher for four years at Henderson Middle School in Butts County. Kisa holds a BS degree in middle grades education from Mercer University, a master's in science in management and administration of educational programs from Nova Southeastern University and an educational specialist degree from Argosy University. Uh, we look forward to the uh, outstanding uh, performance of these two new principals to come at both of these schools. And, we know they will do very well. So I thank you, ladies and gentlemen, the board for their appointment. Thank you, Dr. Mathis. Uh, that concludes our agenda. We just want to remind you that uh, the retirement dinner, May 17th at 7 o'clock. Graduation to Sharp Field, May 25th at 7. Eastside, May 26th at 9. And Alcovey, 7 p.m. I'm sorry, May 26, 9 a.m. at Kobe, 7 p.m. noon high. Are there any other con comments or concerns? If not, can I get a motion to adjourn? Second. I have a motion properly second. All in favor? Aye. Ayes have it. Meeting adjourned. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. You have a good evening. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.